guys hey guys welcome to part five of um this uh huge project uh where we create this amazing project page from one of my um favorite digital agency studio called malvach um, and in today's video we're gonna build uh the rest of image animation so we have this light rotation and the scale and uh, we also will build the rest of the UI so we have this um, line where um, stroked text with this effect uh, and we have this uh, animation of the, the project information on the right yeah so um, exciting um, uh, stuff again to do let's go and uh, build it so for the uh, so to finish the the actual um, image animation we need a few more properties here in the um, initial state and this is gonna be the scale and we will pass it a default 0.8 and we will need the rotation position position which is a zero let's go and pass the create actually the the um, reducer actions so case so change change uh, rotation and it's mostly actually let's copy this it's mostly not, it's not very different so we uh change ch change um rotation and here we gonna uh this um rotation position to the new action payload and we copy this one more and let's uh change scale um, scale yeah so um, what we gonna do is um, we have the uh, handle mouse enter and handle mouse leave where all of our animations happen uh, and now let's go and update the handle set scale uh, handle handle scale will basically be, be like handle opacity so we can copy and paste it so handle uh, scale and the scale will also get these three values so initial uh, scale and new scale so we pass the initial scale and the new uh, scale to the animate function so if you are first here please watch um, part four or actually watch everything to know what where we got so far so um, and instead of this dispatch we will place the set scale and all what is left to do is to go uh, in mouse enter and handle scale from 0 0.8 to 1 and with a 500 uh, millisecond duration and for mouse leave we set the uh, to go from 1 to um, let's see um initial initial scale initial state dot uh scale yeah or from one to zero and let's first add it to the image so scale is state dot scale and if we go to the image component here we can get the scale let's remove this and uh, let's add um, the scale function here so scale dollar dollar and the scale parameter um, let's go to to our so we have the uh, we have uh, an error i believe is a throw new error so there's something wrong with the um scale 
it doesn't want change. Yeah, so we have here a small mistake as usual and rotation here. Uh, we go back, let's refresh. Yeah, so we have this smooth transition of the scale. So you already see that we kind of get the same effect. Yeah, uh, this small Y translation and this small uh, scale translation. And next we're going to do is the rotation part. Rotation again is really simple. We already did something similar uh, in a different video. So uh, let's create a new uh, function similar to handle set opac to handle opacity and to handle scale called handle rotation current current rotation. Let's just call the duration. Let's pass the current rotation and change here the uh, rotation. Yeah. And the new rotation, new rotation, um, will be a, a small function we did in one of our videos um, way, way back. So this new rotation will be um, a number between two uh, different numbers. So we, we will, um, in this case, we will use uh, where we will set the um, maximum and the minimum value to minus 15 but you can do, go however you want so new rotation is equal to math random the math random will return us uh, um, from 0 to 1 times 15 times uh, and then and now we need to get a minus one or a one to have these negative and positive values so math round math random and if this um, round of zero to one is one uh, or is minus minus one if it's true then is one is otherwise it's so if it's zero is uh, minus one if it's one is one um yeah so we we get let's write a small comment here so random between minus 15 and 15 yeah so this is a small clamp function and we have this rotation passed to the animate value animate function and it's gonna run as other um uh, as scale or as opacity and then now we're going back to the handle mouse enter um what we're gonna do is here we'll pass the function and we have the state dot um uh, how we got how it was state dot uh, rotation position yeah rotation position and we pass the um as a 500 duration for mouse enter and for mouse leave the same values and we have to pass again the rotation position to the component rotation position and in our image container or component actually here between translate and scale we'll pass the rotate and it's gonna be a dollar of rotation position uh, and this value will gonna be in degrees let's import it rotation position let's check yeah and yeah, nice so we have this We have this nice um, effect, yeah? Quite, quite, quite similar, I believe. I mean... Yeah, next what we're gonna do is we'll create uh, this effect of the text. 
of the title so going back to the title we need here um, a clone to this to create the effect so let's create here a clone and back to the assess uh, let's move it here let's go back to the bottom and the menu title so we have the font family family of um, space space uh, grotesk which is a sans serif um, a font size of 8.5 report width again we use these for responsiveness to have um, to be more easier a text transform lowercase yeah a z index of one x one line height 1.1 and if it's a clone we'll make it position absolute um top zero so we place it on on top pointer events none so we don't want to interact with our uh, mouse a color black and a clip path of uh, inset 0 100 percent 0 0 and a transition of all 0 0.5 sec uh cubic uh busier let's see um 0 0.77 i have it here zero cubic cubic busier 0 0.77 0 0 0.175 and 1 and uh, if it's not let's and if it's not clone let let's go and see what we got here so have the title have the clone yeah so if it's not a clone we need to make it um stroked so not a clone we make it web kit web kit text broke which is a one pixel rgba of 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.25 a color transparent and if we hover this element we uh, make the cursor pointer and we go back one level and we get the clone element and we put the clip path the inset of 0, 0, 0, 0 and we go back to 1 um, yeah let's check so we have we have the stroked and let's see not the clone and we hover we go back to one maybe it's because okay should work but it doesn't in this case so let's hover this so hover and yeah it's it's working but it has an error here so inset we need without commas let's save yeah so yeah let's go here great we have this uh animation of the text let's Now let's go and create uh, or add the um, project 
information on the right we have the project info map here info block let me check and remember yeah we have everything set for it we need to add the new state here so um active is a false and two cases for our um reducer uh, one, oops. Oh, um, one. Let's change it to oh, mouse. Mouse. Enter. We know that when it's mouse enter, we always set this to true we don't need the action here and if this is a uh, mouse leave set it to be false yeah we save it in our mouse enter and mouse leave we need to pass one more uh dispatch so dispatch type mouse enter and leave and this one and in our um, info block here we need to pass the the n is a function as active if state is active so we close close this and we close this one let's see if we did an imported the class name package let me and going back to our style we set the span to be transform translate by why uh, by default with a zero ten pixels i think we need to pause here the overflow hidden yeah it's paused to be overflow hidden uh, and if we hover so if it's it's active let's check here it's and and uh, and and is active we need to iterate so for uh dollar i so a, a variable from zero through four in our case four in your case it might be more for uh, nth child so we trigger each child so it's a uh, dollar i uh, plus one n span transition delay of dollar um, hashtag dollar dollar y uh, divided by 10 seconds and here we also set the span the transform transform translate y zero and opacity to be one and as active and as active as active as active yeah but it's, yeah so yeah we we got the uh project info little animation so yeah see you see you to next part um i hope you enjoyed it so far and I'll see you to the next one. Peace.